Hey everybody, this is Greg with Age Verify, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through adding in the Age Verify code into a Shopify website. So to begin with here in my browser, I have two tabs open. I have my Shopify admin dashboard, and the other tab I have is ageverify.com. For this video, we're gonna install the free version of Age Verify. Uh, if you're using the pro or the custom version, there you will follow the instructions to receive that code as well. But from ageverify.com to find the script, uh, the code generator, we're gonna scroll down here until we get to our tiers of service. You can see we have the basic pro and custom. We're gonna choose over here on the left, the basic version, which is free, and we'll click installation instructions. That of course is gonna take us to our installation instructions page. Uh, we've got instructions for just about every single platform out there that we are compatible with. And I'm gonna scroll down until I find Shopify, which is right here. And what I would typically do is I would click the code generator, which is going to walk me through generating the code that I'm gonna then paste into my Shopify website. Uh, in doing that, I'm gonna select the background I want, I'll be able to select the prompt type I want, I'll be able to go through a range of configuration options to generate the code that, I'm, that I wanna add into my Shopify website. I'm not gonna put that in this video, uh, it's really easy to do. When you get to the step, just click code generator and go through the prompts. Uh, but I've already got that code copied in my clipboard and I'm ready to paste it into my Shopify website. So I'm gonna go back over to my Shopify admin dashboard page. And from here, uh, on the left-hand side in this menu, you wanna go down until you find online store, which is right here. And from online store, you should already be selected themes. If not, select themes. And it'll show your current theme. And what you simply wanna do is go over here to where this actions dropdown is and we're gonna select edit code. And the code editor is gonna bring up a whole range of files that we could edit. Uh, what we wanna edit is the theme.liquid file, which is right here. So I'm gonna click theme.liquid. And I wanna find the head tag. So uh, in this long block of code, um, there, are, there is one head tag right here. You can see it, it's usually up near the top. And I know it's the opening head tag because there's a uh, open caret, the word head, and a closed caret. But I actually want to find the closing head tag. And there's only one of those as well. So the closing head tag, you have to scroll down a little bit further. And here it is, closing head. And the reason why I know this is the closing head tag is because it also has this forward slash before the word head, whereas the other, the opening tag, did not have that one character. So this is the closing tag of the word head, and we're gonna paste the age verify code right before this tag. So I've put my cursor before this open caret here, and hit enter once just to give myself a little space. I'm gonna move my cursor up to the line above it, and I'm simply gonna paste in the code that I got from age verify right in here. So I'll go ahead and paste that in. And it shifts everything to the right, because it's a long string of code, but if you scroll back here, you can see We've, we've got our, our uh, closing head tag, and we've got the age verify script right above it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And then I'm ready to preview the change that I've made. So I'm gonna hit preview, which for some reason it opens up in a different size window here. So let me resize this for the video. All right, so there's my preview. Uh, what I've done is I've added in the clouds to template, which is one of the templates we have on age verify. It has this cool background video effect to it. And I've got my text that I configured. Uh, I'm prompting people for 21 years old and I'm making them enter their date of birth. I could also do a, a button prompt, uh, for example. So if I go ahead and enter in a date of birth that is greater than age 21, it's gonna count up my age to see how old I am and it's gonna let me into the website and now I can see my website. That's it, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or drop a comment below.